This is 1.4 million cells, 1994. This is a Yoko Yoko, it's a very big one, this one. This is a, another 179,000 copies. This is the songs that they came as a bam bam. In Africa we love bam bam because everything is bam bam. Yeah, bam bam, bam bam bam. I first discovered Penny Penny several years ago when a friend came back from South Africa with a cassette for me. Are you? <laughs> I just thought it sounded really celebratory and really powerful and I posted it on my blog and I just loved it and I've been DJing it ever since. Like it's it's a pretty much a dance floor filler. Every track I play, people love it. People like it, my music, because of the rhythm, 100%. The voice, 100%. The style, 100%. A few years after posting it on my blog, I decided, because I had started a label, that I wanted to include him on the record label, Awesome Tapes from Africa, so tracking him down became a priority. He hunted me more than six years and then he found me in 2013. The first time that I called him, he was quite open and quite friendly. I just said, hey, I'm a guy from America, you don't know me, I'm a huge fan of your music. And I finally got your number through a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend. And I was wondering if you'd be interested in working with me. And because he already has this international career within Africa, he was totally keen. I hate. <laughs> and I quickly found out that he was an elected official with the ANC. And I was pretty shocked by that. Yeah, I'm a counselor. I'm under politics. Since I came in the politics, that's the development we're doing. And this village called Nkori, Zamani, is where I belong here. This is my home. You can see even the beautiful toilets there. You can see the for community. This is the road where I'm counselor. This is the road what people were used to demand to the government many years and many years. And but today we win because of our hard work. Yeah. I'm a hard worker. Even the people help me because without the people, I would not support to have this road. Do you think this is a bigger achievement than your music? What matters most? This is very big achievement because to me it's a payback when people support me from the music. Now I pay back to them because of that a popular name I'm using to do the service delivery. Aye. <laughs> When I started the record label, I knew that I wanted to try to reissue this Penny Penny cassette. Um, it felt like it really spoke to a lot of different people when I played it live. Today, working together all over the country, in the world, it's the de release of my new, of my Shagabundu. He re released that for abroad the whole the world. He said in my music, and I'm doing well. I even went to Australia. Nice performance. I was playing in the Opara house. So I was pumping there. I've always dreamed of getting uh, Penny Penny to come and perform in America. I think he would, would do really well and people would go crazy for it if there was a chance to get him to play on some big festivals, uh, to get his big band over here. I mean, it would be amazing. It's definitely something on my list of stuff that I would hope to do. I believe that I can put something like who Michael Jackson, a lot of people uh, I can be in that category. That I can bring change in entertainment is what I believe. My entertainer is not like others, different. I'm an African man. <laughs>